2015, Waterbury-based Post University announced they would be adding ice hockey to its athletic programs. And now the Eagles are in their second season of D2 men's ice hockey. We sat down with Coach Pete Whitney to learn more about these exciting developments at Post. So in 2015, Post University decided it was finally time to add a hockey team to their sports roster. What was that like as you head into your you know, second season now? It was exciting. I mean, it was challenging because I got hired in April and between April and that September put together a team, a schedule. You create everything from the start, from culture to uniforms to finding a place to play. You came in as this first head coach of this brand new program looking to build a team. So what was that experience like for your first season of recruitment? Well, I tried really hard to get good people, people that would buy into the whole pioneering aspect of it because someone got the first goal, someone got the first penalty, someone got the first win. The guys that I brought in kind of wanted to be part of that because you only get one chance to make history. Post University is a D2 program. Right. So tell me a little bit about the difference between D1 hockey, D2 hockey, D3 hockey. If Division II played Division III 100 times, Division II probably wins 50, Division III probably wins 50. The largest difference between the two is that in Division II there's a clearinghouse, so that means you have to have so many credits in your core courses within those four years. So there's a little bit more emphasis on that piece of the puzzle, just like there is with Division One. What are some of the lessons you learned from your first season that you're now really bringing into your second season now that you're six games in? There's a lot of pressure on guys when they come in and they play because especially if you're that player who's played junior hockey, you're a little bit removed from the world of academics. I think getting guys that can get back into the swing of the academic piece, I think that's been a challenge for some, and we help them through that. There's study halls and things like that that we do. You're still in your infancy in the second season, so what are some of the challenges you've faced? Scheduling is always a challenge. We're really excited. We actually signed a scheduling agreement with the Northeast 10. We're really looking forward to those games because now we have a full varsity schedule that we'll be playing next year. We're just excited about the way the program's going and in a full year of recruiting, we're gonna be a complete NCAA program. You brought in 10 new skaters this year. What was that recruiting process like? Why did you get these kids to come to this program? Reaching out with the connections that I've had over the years. So then you bring guys on campus and you talk to them and you try to get that mix of athletics and academics for them that they feel like you're the place where they should be. You have a 20 seven man roster. Yes. So you obviously can only have 21 men suit up. How is that for you as a coach? What are you doing to help motivate them? A lot of it is self-motivating. That's a plus of playing junior hockey. Junior hockey rosters typically can be much bigger than our roster. So guys are used to the fact that I have to be better than somebody else in order to get in the lineup. Where do you aspire to take this program in the future? And really, what do you need to do to get there? Certainly, you want to win a championship. You know, the NE10 is a great league, and it's a difficult league, so winning a championship within that league would be a huge accomplishment. You get there by trying to bring in players who uh, buy into the systems, who buy into each other, and uh, are willing to make the sacrifices to get better. It's not a right to be an NCAA athlete, it's a privilege. So you need to have players that understand that and are willing to make sacrifices to get to where they want to be. Connecticut people, why should they be coming to your games? We're here at the rinks at Shelton, it's a nice spot. Highway's right down the road, it's easy to get to. I think it's just a great place to watch the games, and because it's an entertainment center, it offers so many other things that you can do before a game or after the game, so situationally, we're in a good spot. Coach, I really want to thank you for taking the time, and we want to wish you the best of luck this season. Thank you, I appreciate it, Ashley.